three, two, one. Yo, ladies, it's your boy, Nissan, the Eskimo. Oh, I need to see my jacket. Ah, uh, coming back with another bulls. I have a tutorial here today on the channel. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how to get that modern mainstream Atlanta trap sound. Little got it vocal tutorial. This is also gonna apply to uh little Keed as well, who was Lil Got his brother. You know, unfortunately, Lil Keed passed away. So let's not waste no time. Let's get on the grind and let's see what gems we can find. Okay. Big bridges ran this beach, ain't no falling off. Adderall, 24 these shooters, ain't no calling off. Dirty boots, I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I got a plate, if it go right, that's a hundred ball. Alien take cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took losses. Slimy motherfuckers, we throw you off and then we march. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you. King Cobra snakes in the room, proceed with caution. We big bridge around this bitch, ain't no falling off Adderall, 24 these shooters, ain't no calling off Dirty boots, I ain't tryna get these bitches polished off Yeah, I gotta play, if you go right, then that's a hundred ball Elion take cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took losses Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we march you Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you Okay, okay, so that's what we working with today If you guys are interested in this saucy, saucy Atlanta trap Little Gotti vocal temp you can check it in the link down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also check out the patreon where we drop those super secret exclusive gems okay so let's hear what um um you know the vocal was sounding like before and after using the little guided template we also have some ad libs but i just want to focus on that vocal real quick let's go we be a bridge around this bit, ain't no falling off at all. 24 these shooters, ain't no calling off. Dirty boots, I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I gotta play if you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gonna cost you. We be a bridge around this bit, ain't no falling off at all. 24 these shooters, ain't no calling off. Dirty boots, I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I gotta play if you yeah, go right, yeah. then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we lost him. Okay, so let's go over this vocal. When I think about somebody like Little Gotti, I'm thinking about that mainstream sound. And I'm also thinking about how he kind of has like a, a Reese's Buttercup type of sound, a, a little bit of the the edgy and a little bit of the sweetness and a little bit of the, the crackling, the croakling inside of his, um, you know, his, his vocal essentially. So that's what I'm looking to, uh, you know, enhance here. So the very first thing that I like to think about with uh, Lil Gotti's sound is, of course, the, the auto tune that we're using. So, of course, I used a little bit of that flex tune to bring out a little bit of that, that bubble gum pop, you know, that bubbling type of sound in his vocal. So the retune speed, not too aggressive, just using a little bit of that, that flex tune and a low humanizer is how you get that little rumble type of you know uh earthquake type of auto tune sound you know where it's like the ground is shaking you know the f the feathers are being ruffled a little bit okay so um with the vocal tutorial as well, I was also using, you know, mostly Waves plugins. And the first Waves plugin I was using is the REQ, you know, just kind of going in there and understanding that his voice is not too deep. His voice is a, a little bit a lightweight. So usually when I think about this music stuff, I think about the vocal like a boxer. Is it a heavyweight? Is it a lightweight? Is it a featherweight? And that's kind of how I shape the low end pretty much, you know. That's going to determine how deep I cut the low end and like, you know, how much of it I cut. So I'm only cutting it around 100. We be a bridge around this bit, ain't no falling off at all. 24 these shooters, ain't no calling off. Dirty boots, I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I gotta play if you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that. And of course, you know, with Little Gotti sound, his his music is just wacky. His whole personality is like he's weird, you know, as the type of guy, you know, that just has characters. He's just a really weird 
type of rapper. You feel me? Really weird, but really fun. That's what I would say. He's he's got a lot of color to him. He's really a, a really fun rapper. That's why I wanted to bring that song. And young Nudie is another one like that too. If y'all want to see a Young Nudie uh, vocal template, let me know and I'll get that to y'all too. But after that, just using a little bit of Deesser uh, on his vocals as well. So let's look at that. Nothing crazy. You know, it's just that with his vocal, with somebody like this, you want to be precautious because his vocals already kind of like snickering and bubbling. So I don't want my Deesser to start catching the stuff. So it's like if I went to the, the, the ocean or a lake and I was fishing, right? I use the net to fish, right? But I'm only trying to catch the actual fish. I'm not trying to catch the, the shrimp that are inside of the water, right? So I got to make sure that my net is big enough and wide enough so that when I scoop it inside the water, which is the vocal, I'm only catching what I really want and not the little shrimp and all the excess shit. You feel me? I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I got to play. If you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss. You ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker. We throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that. So it's only catching what I wanted to, which is the S's. But always pay attention to that, you know? everybody's voice is kind of different you know sometimes you set in it at you know 5k and everything like that and some somebody's voice might be a little bit more leaning towards the high end so that's something that you want to pay attention to after that we have a, a cla 2a i kind of wanted to bring a little bit of warmth i understand also that something like a cla 2a being an optical compressor it uses the tubes to do the amplification you feel me on the input and the output uh, uh another compressor like a fairchild that's not the same as this one because the fairchild uses the tubes to actually do the compression this uh, uh, cla 2 uses the tubes to just amplify it to make it a little bit louder going into the compression circuit so um, cla 2 a actually uses light you know uses a light bulb to do the compression so just using something to just smooth it out and the tubes me understanding that gives it a little bit of brightness too I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I got to play. If you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss. You ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker. We throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that. Just know this shit gonna cost you. King Cobra, Snake Center. And I also love the ratio. I, I understand as well the ratio on something like a CLA 2A is a three to one. So it's just really, really a lightweight type of controlling type of thing that it gives a little sparkle to the vocal. After that, we have something like the C4. And of course I was using my trusty, trusty preset. I love so much pop vocal to help really do exactly what it says. Pop, make the vocal pop a little bit. You know, that's what you want with somebody like Lil Gotti. You don't want their vocals to feel like they're lost inside of the beat, especially with these motion type beats where it has that like that little Lex Luger snare and that darkness and all that stuff like that i wanted to contrast up against that dark ass beat you feel me so let's look at it i ain't trying to get these bitches polished off yeah i gotta play if you go right then that's a hundred ball ellie on take cross you ain't no boss you ain't took losses slimy motherfucker we throw you off and then we march you free game we ain't giving that just know this shit gonna cost you king cobra snakes in the room receive with caution Bridge around this bit, ain't no falling off at her all. 2040 shooters, ain't no calling off. Dirty boots, I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I got them. And another gem about the C4 is you can actually change the way it kind of reacts. If you wanted like a multi-band compressor, maybe let's say if I was feeling like, okay, this C4 is pumping a little bit too much, usually what I would do is I would change my behavior to opto, which will make it like something like a CLA-2A. It will make it behave a little bit slower, kind of rounding off the vocal a little bit. But because I want the pump, I'm using electro. You feel me? That's the behavior. So it's making the vocal wiggle around like a worm on, you know, Groundhog Day in the dirt and everything like that. It's kind of making it a situation like that. So that's why I like to use the electro mode on my C4. But of course, that's another thing too. You get the attack and the releases. That's going to also determine how it moves. So um, another thing I like to use because I know he's rapping over a dark beat. I picked something like the CLA 76 and using it kind of like a saturator, not really compressing too much. I'm always thinking like a chef. I'm thinking like Gordon Ramsay. How do I want to approach the dish? I'm thinking like an artist. I'm thinking like Michael Da Vinci. That's what you have the opportunity to do as an engineer. Think about how you want to approach the canvas. You know, you have the raw ingredients, which is the plugins that's the vocal but what do you, like how do you want to approach it do you want to use a, a wide tooth paintbrush or do you want to use a small tooth paintbrush do you want to use a pencil to draw it in? it depends on how you want to go about it but i use the cla 76 because i let the music talk to me if i hear one of those dark motion you know type of boston richie type beats that he's rapping over then obviously in my head i'm gonna think okay i need to make it match with the theme you feel me i if i'm gonna have a little bit of, of a burger well what's what good what goes good with the burger 
fries. I already know that. So it's the same shit when it comes to making music. You feel me? If I know this is a dark ass, a dark ass Gotham City type of beat, I need to make this motherfucker sound like Batman. Breeze around this bit, ain't no falling off at her all. 2040 shooters, ain't no calling off. Dirty boots, I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I gotta play if you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Crossy, ain't no boss, he took losses. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we marshal. Free game, we ain't giving it. Just know this shit gon' cost you. King cover snakes in your room, proceed with caution. And you see, even the engineer who actually mixed the song, when you hear um, Lil, uh, Lil Goddess vocal, you hear how it sounds dark versus where, you know, that's what you got to understand about compression, the tonality. How is it talking? Is this a smart break? Like, hello, good morning. How you doing today? Or is it dark? You know, it's thugging. It's, you know, it's like, don't fuck with me. Don't play with me, dog. I'm going to do it to your ass. You feel me? You got to understand. That's how I understand compression. You can understand it the way you want to. I just don't want you to listen to these dumbass YouTubers and think, oh, it's just a taming piece. Well, if my vocal has a peak, I got to bring it down. I got to tame it. I got to use a compressor. No, I see that shit in a way like tonality. You feel me? Like, how is it talking to me? You see how when I made it on bluey mode, it just kind of sounded like it was too nice. It was too kind. You feel me? It sounded like it was too sweet. It sounded like white Air Force Ones. But with the, when I put it on black, literally, it sounds like black Air Force Ones. Like, it's going to do something. You feel me? It's like, it's mean. It's about to go crazy. So after that, we have the Abbey Road Mastering Chain, which I really love to use this one. So the uh, compressor on this a little bit is a little bit different it's diode bridge compression but with this one specifically i like it because it's supposed to be a mastering chain but it sounds great on vocals oh my god so first thing i was doing is i was using the low pass filter you know just kind of tidying up the, the the booty i was cutting a little bit of the booty of the vocal and then after that I love this knob right here, presence. I don't know. It sounds like it's adding some brightness, not necessarily even brightness. It sounds like it reminds me of a U87. It's adding clarity, specifically like the articulation. So I don't know. It sounds like a boost, maybe around four, maybe five K, but it really helps those characteristics of little guided uh, uh, vocal uh, come through. So this is a great plugin that I love using on vocals. And after that, you know, I was cutting out a little bit of the mid range, you know, the little I true, excuse me, uh, God bless you type of frequencies. And then after after that i was using a little bit of the compressor as well which is a diode bridge compressor and i like diode bridge compressors because they're really colorful and that's what i was going for this i ain't trying to get these bitches polished off yeah i gotta play if you go right then that's a hundred ball eliante crossy ain't no boss he ain't took loss slimy motherfucker we throw you off and then we moss you free game we ain't giving that just know this shit gonna cost you king cobra snakes in the room receive with caution Calling all dirty boots. I ain't trying to get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I gotta play if you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Crossy ain't no boss, he ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free that little presence EQ right there is a gem for me because you see how even when I push it up to 10 B, 10 dB, it still don't sound harsh. It still sounds so clear and so good. Oh my God. I love using this little TG mastering chain on vocals. This is this is game right here. I never seen nobody else use it on vocals, but I love it. Also, you have the input too. It, it, this is like a tape type of equalizer, a little preamp type of section. I just turned it on because it has like a color to it, but I didn't really use it at all. And, uh, of course, you know, you have a, a parallel compression uh, mix knob right here. It's just tapping it ever so gently. And, you know, this one kind of reminds me of the Fairchild, too, because you have fixed time constants. You know, like something like a CLA-76, it will let you dial in the attack and release. This is what's variable. Like, you can have a variable attack and release, but this one right here is fixed. So maybe if you don't understand shit about making music, you might want to close your eyes and just scroll through it and figure out, like, which one is the best one. That's kind of how I learned uh, music in the beginning when I didn't know about this stuff. You know, just close your eyes you know, use something like a Fairchild or use something that has less options and just goes with what feels good. You feel me? Then when you start to get good at making music, then you can start having the high tech Tesla with all the different buttons and the Bluetooth in the back and the front, all that stuff like that. So keep it simple. Get a regular fucking 2000 Toyota. All you got to do is turn the key, drive it. And then once you like, once you understand how to drive and stuff like that, then you get you a Tesla with all these goddamn, you feel me, like flying windows and doors and all these controls and shit like that. All right, so after that, we have the Arvox just using it for the gate, the body, and the presence. Gotta play if you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Crossy ain't no boss, he ain't took losses. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just no.
know? Yep, giving a little bit of weight to a little Gotti's vocal through compression. Okay, then after that, we have something like, uh, you know, the Slate Digital Fresh Air. I love it because it just makes the vocal sound more mainstream, more bright. It gives me a little bit of that Febreze Clorox bleach clarity. Honey ball, Eliante crust, you ain't no bust, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we lost you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you. King and Cobra, snakes in the room, receive it, coach. All right, then after that, we had a, a de-esser at the back end, you know, just really kind of tidying up everything. Okay, so with my delays, nothing crazy. I used the quarter delay, you know, but the most important thing for, for sure here is I did use a little bit of modulation because that's what I'm going with um, uh, Lil Goddess vocal. It's making me think of, like, what's that one scary-ass, uh, you know, uh, jinx? Uh, you know that one scary movie with that one uh, puppet with the little circles on his face you know uh, what is it called I can't even remember well, he's like let's play a game that's what I was kind of envisioning in my head like a really wacky if a vocal sounded like that character from that movie that's what I wanted to do so I used the modulation and it kind of made the the the, the slap back a little bit a little more wacky a little, what was it like sound like he's on a, a, a perk a perk 30 or something like that I gotta play if yeah, you go yeah. right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we must. And to wash away my, uh, you know, delay a little bit more, I used the, a reverse reverb on it. So just really making it wacky, just really a short reverse reverb, kind of doing some crazy things that can't be heard, but, uh, you know, they can really be felt. And I think that's important for somebody like Little Goddess type of vocal because he's already doing all the craziness, you know. But as an engineer, I want to just kind of start to enhance that a little bit, you know. And I'm going to do that in the background where not people, people can't really hear it, you feel me, like that. But it's just like the whole song just becomes wacky and sometimes you got to do that when you only have a lead vocal and that's kind of like how little god had that 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 song after that i used the uh, manny uh reverb i like the manny reverb because i was using a little bit of the flanger uh, like how i was saying i'm making it feel like uh what's his name is it jigsaw is that his name jigsaw i'm pretty sure that's his name jigsaw yeah so yeah from the movie like you know how he's crazy and he's got people turned upside down that's how i imagine the song that's how i ear imagined the song so that's a word that i created um to help me understand music i call it ear imagination like just like how you imagine shit when you see a movie or you imagine the ideas you got to use your ears to make the connection to something that you can see and put it into the music so manny reverb a little bit of uh, fla uh, phaser a little bit of distortion too you could also get you a tory lanes type of distortion um your tory lane's harry reverb using this plugin too is already built in um and i used a little bit of the compression i like using the compression because the hall felt big but i used the compressor to make it just a little bit uh, a little bit tighter so it's not a side chain compressor it's just like a wide band compressor that's what it sounds like to me if you go right then that's a hundred ball eliante crust you ain't no boss you ain't took loss slimy motherfucker we throw you off and then we muscle free game we ain't giving that just know this shit gonna cost you king cobra snakes in the room receive with caution yeah so something just really bright just uh, like a nice tight bright space you know just really helps him get enhanced a little bit more after that we have my doubler i'm using a doubler stomp over doubler two because i like uh, the doubler stomp a little bit more it's a little bit more gritty a little bit more nasty a little more disgusting a little bit more hood a little bit more down the block honey buns and hot sausage type of sound that i was looking for uh stereo spread i don't have to use the s1 after the fact i can just turn up the knob also i like this kind of has like this detune uh but and so pay attention to how, how I'm saying this stuff. Like, I wanted to make my vocal sound wacky as fuck without nobody hearing it. So listen to what the doubler is doing. If you go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we monster. Free game, we ain't giving that. Just know this shit gonna cost you. King and Cobra, snakes in the room, receive with caution. And the ball, Eliante cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit. And of course, if I wanted to enhance that double a little bit more, I'd probably even throw on a motherfucking auto tune after the fact and really just having it so sound like so non linear. You feel me? But oh, okay, after that, after that, what I had right here too, I used my studio right. I drove, I drove my parallel compression a little bit harder. You feel me? Because like with this one, um, 
I guess it's it was just a little bit different for me. Like I I was just kind of driving the signal. That's what you can do with Studio Right. I drove the signal a uh, six dB more into another Abbey Road chain, and I was using this as a parallel compressor. Uh, and I loved it. Oh my god, I loved it so much. So you got a couple different modes: original, modern, and limit. So I think I used the. Uh, two different modes oh, yeah here i used modern i like how the attack and release sounds a little bit better it wasn't holding the vocal back and then here i just used the original because it sounded a lot more dirty a lot more uh true to that analog type of sound i'm not going for an analog vibe but i am going for something gritty and just wild and just fun you know and the ball, Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you. King Cobra, snakes in the room, receiving that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit. You hear how the vocal sounds like a little kid's toy, like a dreidel is just rattling and rattling. And all the process that I've been doing here, as soon as I heard that raw vocal, has been contributing towards that. You pay attention to how the, my vocal take was, it was already rattling, right? But it's kind of like all the process I've been doing has been helping that shit. So that's what you got to do as an engineer. A nigga come into the studio, you got to play into their strengths. Because if you're not, you go, you're just going to be fighting the uphill battle quick 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 with these ad libs we use the l1 to you know pancake press um waffle house press them down and everything like that calling all dirty boots i ain't trying to get these you go right then that's a hundred ball eliante cross you ain't no boss you ain't took loss slimy motherfucker we throw you off and then we lost him free game we ain't giving that just know this shit gonna cost you king cobra snakes in the room and of course like how i said about jigsaw doesn't it sound like uh for me it sounds like broken springs that's kind of what i was going for with my ad libs like the sound of no no nothing i wanted to sound like broken ass springs like broken ass toys because i was thinking about jigsaw the whole time i was making that so you see how i use my imagination to to get it sounding like that like how those ad libs just sound like no no nothing like they kind of sound like a spring or like a jack-in-the-box that is that's popping out and it's like broken as fuck you feel me so that's the sound i was going for so ear imagination that's important as hell in music because if you could see it in your mind you could create it on the track, you feel me? And make people be like, damn, like, that's more than just uh, vocals and ad -libs. Now it's the feeling, you feel me, behind that shit. And after that, we used my, uh, it's the REQ. I only wrote off the low end. I wasn't going for a radio effect. I just wrote off the low end just to position them in the mix where I wanted them to be. I used another uh, Abbey Road, a TG mastering chain. And this time, primarily, I was going for just the compression and just the filters. I like the filters because the octaves, the, the curves and the shape of the filters sound different to like me just using a regular REQ. So uh, I was rolling off a little bit of top end, but not enough to make it sound like a radio effect, though. You go right, then that's a hundred ball. Eliante cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we moss you. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you. King Cobra, snake in. And, you know, like how I said, a broken spring. Now look at my compressor. My compressor's damn near fucking broken. I don't even know how I got these settings, but it was just like my imagination, how I was imagining the song. Like, I damn near broke the goddamn compressor. Like, look at it. It's going up. Like, it's all the way over here, up and down. I don't know. I just put it on a 100 to 1 ratio with a one recovery and, a, uh, you know, uh, the limiter mode. So I don't know what the hell I did, but I, I kind of, like, broke the plug in a little bit. Dirty boots, I ain't tryna get these bitches polished off. Yeah, I gotta play if you yeah, go right, yeah. then that's a hundred ball. Eliante Cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we lost him. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you. King Cobra, snakes in the room. <laughs> so I don't know if it's, it's doing upwards compression or what, but like, see, like that's what I'm saying. Sometimes if you use the power of your imagination, next thing you know, the goddamn plugins start glitching up and start acting up. Well, because it's just like your imagination you gotta if you have an imagination that's so strong in life like literally your whole world gonna change even the whole song is gonna change if you imagine some shit to sound good and you just know how to do it bro i'm telling you your vision gonna come through and that's why people been making music for hundreds and hundreds of years because they be having visions on the inside now they're trying to express that shit our vox for a, a really tight gate and then of course i was using another manny reverb uh just rolling like no top in because you know my lead vocal had hella top in so i'm making these decisions kind of like not necessarily 
necessarily consciously, but I'm kind of like keeping it in the back of my head. All right, my lead vocal has a bright ass reverb, so let me make sure my ad libs are not going to be clashing with that. So the reverb of my ad libs is just no, no high end at all. You feel me? And um, when it comes to ad libs, I like to use a zero pre delay because I want the reverb to work right away, right on that transient. Ah, thank you, Lassie, thank you, Lassie. You feel me? I want it to work right then and there. And um, yeah, just using a large chamber right there. And of course, after that, I had an H delay, you know, nothing crazy with the H delay, using a little bit of the analog, but sometimes you can turn it off. So uh, yeah, let's just look at how that sounded one more time. You know, just imagine the vision I was trying to say, like Jigsaw, like in that movie, you feel me, Saw, you feel me? And about how, you know, the springs are broken, there's a jack in the box popping out. And listen to me, tell me if the ad libs remind you of that, especially how the delay ends. Yeah, I gotta play if you yeah, go right, yeah. then that's a hundred ball. Eliante cross, you ain't no boss, you ain't took loss. Slimy motherfucker, we throw you off and then we lost him. Free game, we ain't giving that, just know this shit gon' cost you. King Cobra, snakes in the room, receive the caution. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial here today. I hope you guys learned a lot. Don't forget, if you like this vocal template, you can get it in the comment, the pin comment down below check it out don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also check out the patreon for more exclusive gems just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my youtube family appreciate you now youtube gang peace